part. So this is a tutorial on how to create an active quiz. I am going to do so in my chemistry form full class. The first thing you need to do is have your question in your question bank. So I would have created my question and we all are aware how we do so. We click on create question and we choose whichever format we want to use. I like to use the multiple choice or true and false for my um, active quiz. It's, once it's a revision I'm doing, if it's um, a formal exam, then I would use a variety of questions for that. So you add your questions. I have my questions here. So I go back to the subject page and I turn edit on and I'm going to add an activity or resource and the very first um, activity there would be the active quiz. So you click on it, give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name, the gaming of class. All right, maybe let's say class. This is my fourth class, so class number four, let's say. And something that you'll remember the name by. The general set, now you don't need to put um, any description, it's up to you. The general active quiz settings. Now this is a time setting for how long the students will have to complete the questions. So depending on what it is, I usually give them about one minute. Um, it, the timing is up to you. Now the time they have to wait for the questions, I don't want them to wait too long, so I usually give them about three seconds. And of course, if you are grading the session, then you leave it as assessed. Um, you put the maximum grade that they can get. Usually I leave it at 10. And then I usually do the session before, during and after. So they usually get to keep their highest grade per session, right? So whichever session has the highest grade, that's the grade that they get. Um, group settings is if you want them to do it in groups. Um, the other settings, I just leave them as is and save and display. Then you go ahead and edit your quiz. So um, based on the little icons, I know what questions I have here. So this is my true or false. So I'm going to add it. Um, I want to see the response history of every child. So I click show response history. And then I do the same. So I have a few multiple choices. So let's say I just want about three questions since it's a revision at the beginning of the class. Show response history. They have one minute, um, one try at the question and the question is worth one point. And then I add the question again. Um, and I'm going to add one more. So I have my three questions and they have been added to the quiz. Now I can go back and this is how it will look when I am about to start the quiz with my students. So I'll give it a name. So this would be our first session. All right. Or sometimes I say start of class. All right. Now I want to see the name of the students and the responses they gave along with their scores and so on. So I'm not going to anonymize, anonymize them. All right. I'm going to unclick that. So leave everything blank and I'm going to start my session. And this is what I will see. Um, so I ask everyone to go back to the subject page while we're in the cloud room. So they remain in the cloud room, but they go back to the subject page tab, click on the quiz, and they're going to see that they have to wait until the teacher starts the quiz. So I ask 
everyone to ensure they're on the same page if they're having trouble they send a message in the chat of you know on, on mute their mics let me know once everyone is on the same page i start the quiz they have a three seconds wait then everyone should be seeing the same question and there is a timer it's counting down so they have 60 seconds on the question and you can see the number of persons that are attempting to respond here right um, so if you have 10 students all 10 should be showing up here the number 10 and then they're going to as fast as they're responding you're going to see the response showing up underneath that blue ribbon here right and then you can give them a time check you have 18 seconds remaining and uh, you let them know that if they have not responded that they need to do so before the time is up so the time comes down and the question will auto submit so it's going to give you um, an overview of it's going to tell you if someone didn't respond the names will show up here all the students names will be here so who didn't respond their name will remain here after the question submits and then once um the question has submitted and so on then you can go to the next question which is here i don't know why it's not showing up here now i guess because no one responded so i can end the question And then this will highlight and I can go on to the next question. It's going to take about three seconds to load. You wait for the time to come down. All right, the 60 seconds, you're going to see the response. Who responded? If someone didn't, then you'll see them. All right, I'm just going to end the question for and it's sake to continue with the recording. Now, if a student said they missed the question, then you can go back to the question so you look for it here let's say they miss question three you can go to question three it's going to load again but everyone has to answer even those that answered already they have to answer it again all right and then let's say the quiz is finished all right the time um elapsed the quiz is finished then you can you can check the results right there in the room or you can close the session and view the responses so let's say i'm viewing let's say i did all three responses at the end of the lesson and i just want to view those at the start of the class first and then you would see all the students name here and their grade and you could actually click on this to look at the questions they got wrong and those that they got correct and so on right and they are able to see their grades at the end of the session as well if you go back to the quiz here you'll see that it has refreshed again for another attempt all right so you can do the active quiz as many times as you want so i will send a video from the student's point of view so you'll see what they are usually seeing when you're doing the active quiz thank you